following video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a quiz question in Moodle. I'm going to first access my question bank by clicking on my course settings. In my case, I need to click more to find the question bank options, and then I will choose questions. And then I'm going to choose the category I want to put the question into. So in my case, I'm going to choose a subcategory and then click create new question. This is the list of possible question types that you have available to you. A few notes, if you click on each one, you'll see a brief description up here that you can read to get an idea of what that type is all about. All of these types are automatically graded with, of course, the exception of the essay type, which will require you to manually grade them. And finally, if you're just going to be inputting a lot of simple questions like multiple choice or true and false, it's probably easier to create a text file and import your questions rather than create them one by one as we're going to do here. So if that's the case for you, make sure to check out our tutorial on importing. So in this case, I'm going to choose a multiple choice question type and click add. Okay, I now need to input a question name and then the question text. Those can actually be the same, or you can make the question name more descriptive if you'd rather see that as you're looking through your list of questions. You're choosing the default mark. Normally, you're going to leave that at one. General feedback is any feedback that the student will see regardless if they answer the question correctly or not. I do need to choose if there's a single correct answer or if I want to allow multiple boxes to be checked. And I need to choose if I want the list of possible answers to be shuffled each time the question loads. One note of caution, I would recommend that if you have any questions where the correct answer is something like, both A and B, or both C and D, you need to either rewrite that question so that it's not dependent on the letter or number, or untick the shuffle of choices. Okay, so now I'm ready to input my possible answers. For each choice, I'm just going to put in the answer that I want to appear, and I can also add individual feedback that the student will see if they happen to choose that particular answer. So explaining why something is incorrect, or why something was correct. So just putting those in, and when I input the correct answer, I'm going to change the grade to 100% instead of none. Of course, if you have multiple different answers, you need to arrange them so that the correct answers all add up to 100%. So once I've added in all the answers that I want to appear, I'm just gonna scroll to the bottom and click Save Changes, and you'll see my new question has appeared in my question. Bank.